Hey everyone, I'm Kel, and today I have a pretty chill video. Today we're going to be opening up all five of the Commander 2020 or the Ikoria Commander decks here. We're just going to open these up, see what they come with, see what the cards look like in person, see how the foiling is, and um, see how the card quality is. So yeah, let's just open these up. Going to do an order starting with this first one. First one is the Ruthless regiment deck with uh, Irina Kudro or Jurina Kudro I should say um, yeah let's just crack this open and start looking at what it comes with by the way that box at the start that's how these come if you buy all five of them sealed from like Wizards of the Coast uh, most places will just send you that box if you buy all five of them they won't actually even remove them from the box so you know it's technically like a, a factory sealed box so we have uh, Jarena Kudro here, and then the deck in here, though it is upside down. Looks like it just comes with one, as per the usual for the the more um, modern commander decks. They used to come with all three of the, the headliners, but yeah, pretty cool. Put that over there. I have like a big stack of these because I buy the commander sets every single, every single time they come out. So we have this um, kind of like a little... Insert tells you about the deck, tells you about some of the uh, the creatures, the legends, you know, commander rules, playing the deck. We got the legends that come in here, pretty sweet. If you wanna, if you wanna get your lore on, and where I'm gonna put this? I guess I'll put that right there. Oh, dude, comes with a life counter. I didn't realize it came with a life counter. That's kind of cool. I like these things. They're not like super expensive or flashy or anything, but you know, I think they're cool. And then here is the deck proper. Also this um, deck box. I'm not gonna, it's not really a deck box. I used to keep all of these, but I have since just started <laughs> to throw them away, to be honest. Don't really need these. So we have uh, Jarena Kudro here. Let's remove the packaging. Popular magic formats, standard, boof booster draft and commander. Yeah, I would say that that's probably popular though. Standard for me personally standards like eh. so we have our uh, Mainliner here Jarena Kudro the foiling looks pretty nice not too clouded though. I mean if you get the right light it looks nice Yeah, doesn't look too bad We have a uh, Kelsian the plague. Uh, I really like this card because my name is Kel and this is Kelsian I have a, a natural affinity to other random things with my name. We have this Trin Champion of Freedom and her buddy Silvar who um, eats people. Yeah, people eater. Oh, and now we have the tokens. All right, so we got a human soldier, zombie. Looks like we're gonna need some zombies here. These all like, yeah, it looks like they're all zombie tokens. I do like the new tokens by the way. Oh, dude, treasure. <laughs> loves me some treasure. I do like the new uh, token layout. All right, so we've got some pretty basic tokens here. Then we got Bajukabog, Boros Garrison, Command Tower with the old Command Tower artwork, not the one from the Brawl decks, which is interesting. Mirrored Landscape, Outlaw, or Nomad Outpost, Basilica, Path of Ancestry. This card actually was um, getting up there in price. I think it still might be. Unclaimed Territory is pretty cool. Just our lands here aren't super special. We're gonna kind of go through these pretty quickly. The art on here is, is nice though, uh, on the on the basics there. We have a call the copper coats. Flawless maneuver, verge rangers, nice card. Species specialist, you know there's some pretty sweet uh, new cards in this set. Titan hunter, fireflex squad, frontier warmonger, molten echoes. Yeah, I mean like. I think the value here, you've probably already seen like all of the other um, big commander channels talk about this kind of stuff, but there's some good value to be had in these decks. I just like looking at them in person, you know? And you get some old favorites with like the new border frame, which is always really cool. Or even Doomsayer from like, what was that, from Innistrad? Yeah, there's some, there's some, there's some good stuff in here. Hold on, let's go through these a little bit quicker. Cause you know, it is a hundred cards. Captivating Crew, ooh, Fumiko, the Low Blood. This is one of my favorite cards from like Champions of Kamigawa. We have Mages of the, Mages of the Wheel, Outpost Siege. Ooh, Shared Animosity, one of the cards that was actually climbing in price. 
Titan of Eternal Fire, Adriana, Crackling Doom, ooh, Nahiri. You gotta love Nahiri. Battlefield Forge, Exotic Orchard. You got some of the rare lands here. And then some random swamps. Uh, Bonder's Ornament, Arcane Signet is great since all of them come with it. Boros Signet, Commander Sphere, this is a pretty good ramp. Heirloom Blade, and more Signets. Skull Clamp is excellent. Your auto includes Soul Ring, Sanctuary. Okay, so these, these are some of the booster cards. The, all these cards here come in like the Ikoria booster set. Except for the Impetuses here. So I'm not a big fan of the, the Impetuses. Banisher Priest is kind of a, a decent one. Ambitions Cost, Zillport Cutthroat. Yeah, there's some, there's some decent stuff in here. Terminate. And then this garbage card. Yeah, this, uh, this is a pretty cool one. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to play right out of the box. I would assume they're all pretty balanced versus each other, but like, you know, probably like a, a five on the power level scale or, or something like that. So we got Jarena knocking the camera Kudro right there. Next one is the Arcane Maelstrom. Nice. Um, Teamer is my, probably my favorite color combination in Magic, though it's funny you say that. Or funny, I say that. Teamer is my favorite color combination, but I think black is my favorite, just mono color. Also upside down. Yeah, interesting. So we'll remove our um, Storm Sire here, Calamax. Really cool card. I will not be changing my Maelstrom Wanderer into Calamax, but I still think he's really cool. Not, not cool enough. Not as not as cool as my Maelstrom Wanderer though. I mean, I might at some point. So here's this. We're not going to go over this every single time. Ooh, I like the blue one, though. Very cool. It, it's got to go to 40, right? Hold on. Let's go all the way. Okay, it goes to 40. But if you're playing a life gain deck, eh, this might not be <laughs> might not be that useful to you. We have the Calamax deck here. Let's toss all this other stuff off screen. Um, I think this is probably one of the ones... That if I was going to buy only one of them, I'd probably buy the Calamax deck. Partially because, like I said, Teamer, my favorite color combination. But also, I think this is the one that comes with, like, the best. Well, actually, no, it's not. Um, the Jeskai one has some of the really good cards in it, too. So we have, obviously, Calamax. Excellent card. Zyrus, Writhing, Storm. You know, they're not Pringles yet. We have a Haldan. We have his Doggy Bro. And then we have the tokens. So let's look at the tokens real quick. I think I could do this in a faster manner. So we got, yeah, we got these tokens. Not too bad. Sapperling, got some goblin warrior stuff going on. We got more treasures, got some snacks. I'm still waiting for my one, one black death touch snake token. Or is it, is it just one, one black snake? The one from Ophiomancer. That's basically what I'm looking for. So we got your, your common lands here. Commons and uncommon lands. Not super exciting, just kind of like basic stuff you need. Though, Command Tower is always good. We have Decoy Gambit, Eon Frolicker, very weird card. Nascent Metamorph, also a very weird card. Deflecting Swat, really sweet. Lava Brink Floodgates, Curious Herd, I think is actually really good. Glade Muse is all the one that people are complaining about. <laughs> what else is new with Magic? Twinning Staff, Jake, Architect of Thought. Jace, Architect of Thought. Did I just call him Jake? Jake from State Farm. We have uh, Nibbles of Frost, Swarm Intelligence. Yeah, some, some pretty pretty good stuff here. Comet Storm, Mythic Comet Storm. What commander set or what a uh, master set was Comet Storm in? Oh, that was such a such a kick to the, the tenders. We have Atali. I really like Atali. I think he's a fantastic card. Artifact mutation is pretty good too. We have Melek. Rashmi is always sweet. Wart the Raid Mother. Oh, I like how they got the um the appropriate tokens for that. I do, I do dig that. Solemn. Solemn's always a staple. There's a lot of cool like staple cards in these. Um ooh, Mossfire Valley. I don't know why they don't just give us the better ones. Probably because they're like, oh yeah, we can reprint those in other sets that you'll actually want to buy. So the Bonders Ornament, Arcane Signet, Commander, Sphere, ooh, Lightning Greaves, pretty sweet. And then here are also some of the cards from um, the Ikoria Boosters, the Impetuses, some other reprints, 
frenetic frantic search is always sweet. Ooh, crop rotation. Always good. I really like the artwork on this one. I think it's really good. Hunter's insight. Hunting pack. Uh, eh, maybe. This is like one of the storm cards that I was like, never really that good. Because it costs seven. How many spells are going to play in the same turn that you play a seven drop? You probably already have like a million mana. You already have a million mana. I mean, you should be able to win regardless and not play some janky like four fours. That's just my humble opinion on that card. Even when Commander was like first coming out and there was like not a lot of, uh, um, the, the card pool was a little bit more, um, you know, tight. Still, like, you didn't play the hunting pack. No one plays hunting pack. I mean, someone probably plays hunting pack. Maybe you got like a beast tribal deck. If you have a beast tribal deck, do you still play hunting pack? Probably not, right? It's a seven drop and like doesn't do anything. I don't think the, the do nothing seven drops are where, are where you want to be, even though it's kind of a stereotype. Oh, I like the purple one too. I do like how each of these is like a different color. I think it's pretty cool. And then we have the deck for Cathrol, Aspect Warper, ye old, um, ye old token ability tokens. I was going to say token abilities. Oh my god, dude. This one is being a pain in the butt. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, I got it. <laughs> Wasn't that hard. I was just being not 100% here. So Cathrol Aspect Warper, kind of a cool card. Pretty interesting. I do want to build an Abzon deck, um, but I'm probably going to be doing the, the Booster Pack Mythic, Nathroy Apex of Death. Um, still cool though. Tyam Luminous Enigma, really cool. Looks like something from Monster Hunter. Just gonna say straight up. Um, she's pretty sweet. Nakara Lair Scavenger and a Yannick. Laurel, Yanny. We have uh, the spirit tokens. There's a lot of a lot of spirit tokens here. Definitely probably and some insect tokens. Yeah, I could say this is probably not a uh, a token deck outside of those two tokens. And then we have our, our common lands and uncommon lands here. Pretty basic stuff. I mean, some of these are even in the booster packs, like Ikoria booster packs, like all the, the tap lands. All right, now here we go. Let's get some to some fresh stuff. Avenging Hunt Bonder is pretty sweet. Same with the Cartographer's Hawk, actually. Vitality Hunter is also pretty cool. It's got Monstrous. Daring Fiend Bonder, Netherborn Altar. They really like upload all of like upfront all of the new sweetness here on these decks. Selective adaptation. Ooh, slippery bog bonder. And the nesting grounds. Nesting grounds are sweet. Yo, my lady, Akroma, Angel of Wrath. Nice. Uh, I don't know if I like this one or the old art better, but still pretty sweet. Angel of Finality. Gear Hulk. Got Kalemni. Another Audric. This is the second deck that has Audric, or was it a different version of Audric? I don't know. I'll have to go look. Sunblast Angel. I think it's a pretty good one. Pretty good commander one. Zatalpa is on all. Zatalpa is like in all of like the white commander decks now, like the pre-cons. Karen Wanderer. I think that's a, a pretty cool one. Ever after Soul of Innistrad, Soul Flayer, Hornet Queen is sweet. This is like the card you were hoping not to pull in your Hour of Devastation Mythic slot. Splinter Fright. Abzan Ascendancy, you got Yield, Ajani Unyielding, Arkana Valor's Reach, I think this is a Battle Bond card, pretty good card though. Deadbird Chant, also pretty good. Doom Blast, Karametra, Ooh, don't drop Karametra, uh, Mimic Vat, and we have our Rare Lands here, Canopy Vista, got some Pain Lands, Exotic Orchard, I think all the decks come with the Exotic Orchard. Got some more of the, the Filter Lands, the, the not good Filter Lands. Oh, uh, Crescent Verge. Yeah, pretty good to see more Crescent Verges. It's kind of like a, a fetch land, sort of. And then now we have our uh, ramp suite here. Some pretty common stuff. But I like how this one has Swift Foot Boots, and the other one had Lightning Greaves. And then we got some Ikoria reprint cards. Got your three Impetuses and your Aerial Responder. And then some like uncommon reprints is like pretty good ones, like Unburial Rites. Acidic Slime, Cultivate, Harmonize. Oh, dude, new Harmonize art. Really sweet, actually. I dig it. Abzan Charm, Death Sprout, 
D Spark. These are all kind of like modern ones. Oh, and it comes with um, it's a little bit bit of a heftier one because it comes with all of the, the little tokens there. That's pretty cool. Comes with the additional like punch out cards, so you can actually like use the mechanics of the deck. I actually appreciate that. I was wondering if it would come with those or not, or you just have to you know deal with it yourself. Next up, we have. Gavi Nest Warden. This has some of the best, like, new cards in it, in my opinion. Like that blue one. That free blue counterspell. I mean, free blue counterspell. Pretty good, right? Like, historically speaking, those tend to be pretty good. Let's take this out. Like, even the one that people were like, oh, it's not as good as Force of Will. You know what? Turns out, still quite good. Talking about Force of Negation, by the way. I remember when peop like, people were looking at the spoilers and they are like, Yeah, but it's not as good as Force of Will. Yeah, so I probably won't see any play. Guess what? It sees play. Because, uh, f turns out, free cards are good. Let's, uh, put this over here. And then check out our Gavi Nest already opened, tampered with. I'm gonna request a product replacement. Defective packaging. All right, so we have Gavi Ness Warden, possibly one of the most powerful cards from these starter decks, honestly. I think it's really good. Uh, we have Akeem, the Soaring Wind, possibly one of the weakest cards from these starter decks. I think it's not really good. <laughs> we have Brawlin, Sky Shark Rider. This one does look a lot more faded than the others, like foiling wise. And uh, Shabraz, the Sky Shark. Dinosaur Cat. So let's look at the tokens on this one. We'd, we'd look at the tokens for all of them, but. Freaking dinosaur cat is adorable as all hell. Got a spirit, got a pretty soldier, elementals, insect. Ooh, angel. Anytime I see that art, I'm like, Magali Villeneuve, fantastic artwork. Not just for magic. She does uh, artwork in the Lord of the Rings CCG as well, or Lord of the Rings LCG and um, Arkham Horror LCG, which by the way, I know you're watching a magic video right now, but if you're into LCGs or just card games and you don't really care about booster packs and randomness, the Fantasy Flight LCGs are, are amazing. I haven't really talked about them much on this channel before. I probably will in the future because I just think they're they're incredibly good. They're fantastic. Um, we have Cryptic Trilobite. Dismantling Wave, pretty good. Herald of the Forgotten, also pretty good. Uh, Crystalline Resonance, Ethereal Forger. Or Ethereal Forager. That's the Delve card. Yo, this is the one I was talking about. Fierce Guardianship. Play this in all your blue decks. Like, seriously. Just put it in all the blue decks. We've got Acroma's Vengeance. Um, hey, we add it with actual Acroma from the other deck. Got our uh, Tokyo Drift. Descend Upon the Sinful. Didn't realize that was in the set. It's probably what that uh, Angel token's for. Hoof Prince of the Stag. Sun Titan's a pretty sweet one. Curator of Mysteries. I mean, we got we got your uh, Drake Haven, your Cycling Matters cards here from Amonkhet. Chandra Firecaller, pretty sweet card actually. Got some more. This was a card from um, uh, what you call it? Modern Horizons. Got Esperia, Niv Mizzet for his like millionth reprint. Ooh, Locust God, always excellent. Ooh, Fluctuator. Also excellent. I'm really glad they reprinted Fluctuator here. Otherwise, it'd be like 50, 60 bucks. Because people would be like, oh, I want to build a cycling deck. Guess I need Fluctuator. Oh, what? It's from like Urza's block? Yeah, it's like impossible to get. And it's like $70. Yeah, so we're just going to keep flipping through these pretty quickly. Cast out more Magali Villain of Art. Uh, Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Is this Magali? Nah. Josu. I'm not going to try to butcher their last name, but it looks great. Lightning Rift. Is this new art for Lightning Rift? It might be new artwork for Lightning Rift. I'm not entirely sure. Lightning Rift was a card from Onslaught, part of the Astral Slide style decks. And we got one more deck left. Last but not least, Otrimi the Ever Playful. I'm a pretty big fan of the new mutate mechanic. I think it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite archetypes to draft in um, Ikoria Limited. Like, not much else to say. I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think building big old monsters is a lot of fun. 
call me a Timmy, but uh, you know, I like big monsters. I, I cannot lie. Hey, come on. Deck needs to contain itself. It's getting a little getting a little out of control here. I think this deck has one of my favorite arts in the set. Kind of running out of space here. Eh, whatever. We'll just keep going. We'll keep we'll keep going. I don't need to adjust the space here. I think the partner like wolf like the it's like a whale wolf is is rad as hell. We have Otrimi, the ever playful. Foiling, there we go. There's the good foiling. We have uh, Zexara, the exemplary. Also another pretty cool card. Yeah, like I said, I think this deck has some really cool stuff. So we have Kazura, Ruthless Stalker. Pretty cool. But then we also have the Ukima, Stalking Shadow. This is one of my favorite cards in the whole, like, Commander Precons. Not because of what it does. I think it's okay. It's just because it's super cool. This looks something straight, like, straight up out of Monster Hunter. Like, I love it. It's very cool. And it's also a whale wolf. As someone who lives in Portland, Oregon, whale wolf really speaks to me. I got a lot of beast tokens. I got a lot of hydra tokens. That's pretty cool. They're all kind of stuck together, but... Yeah, hydra tokens, beast tokens. Got some beast beastly hydras. And then let's start... Talking about the final deck here. Try to keep this pretty, pretty uh, condensed, sweet and condensed milk. Rogue's Passage. I like putting Rogue's Passage on a lot of decks. Just like as a good finisher, you know. Board stakes gummed up. Give your commander unblockable and kill him with commander damage. It's happened more than a few times. Not afraid to admit it. We have a souvenir snatcher just stealing all your, all your detritus. Title Barracuda. Uh, Boneyard, Mycodax, Deadly Rollick, fantastic card. It's like a free kill spell if you have your commander. Dredge the Mire, also a pretty sweet card in my opinion. Mind Leecher. Oh, uh, this is the Goat Hydra. Yeah, go Goat Hydra. Manascape Refractor, another sweet card. Yeah, this deck has a lot of sweet stuff in it. And then some like pretty good staples. Well, staple-ish. Um, like B and C to your staples, like Deadly Tempest, Profane Command. Animist Awakening with beautiful artwork. Beast Whisperer, I think is amazing. Even though it's a kind of a newer card, I think this is gonna be a commander staple. We have some some other Hydras, Genesis, Hungering, not Hydras, <laughs> Mask Admirers. Got the Predator Ooze, more Hydras, Vastwood, Vorapede, Cold-Eyed Selkie. Reminds me of a Decemberist song, speaking about Portland, Oregon. Nissa, Steward of Elements, really love this Planeswalker. I had to pick up a foil one because I think she's super cool. Hey, same with Villainous Wealth. Ooh, Widewind, the Biting Gale. Yeah, more like Lorwyn block stuff. Uh, Lifecrafter's Bestiary, another card that's becoming a commander staple. Silent Arbiter, and then we have our suite of rare lands. Lanoir Wastes with uh, Rob Alexander artwork. Always love it. More commons, or not commons. This is less than common, it is a basic. I got a Bonder's Ornament, Arcane Signet, Soul Ring, Yield stuff. Oh, this one doesn't look like it comes with a Commander Sphere. Archipelagor, Heron, Shore Shark. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of Ikoria mutate cards there. Fertilid, more Ikoria stuff. Like just just lots of it. We have the Impetuses. Um, oh, I haven't seen this one in a while. This was in some of the other uh, older precons. Moldrifter is always sweet. Propaganda is actually pretty sweet too. Shriek Mob, Beast Within, more Hydras, Kodamas, Krosa, and Reclamation. Like, this is just like a, a suite of just staples here. I think Yav yeah, Druid is actually underplayed. Pretty good. Let's you search your deck for a forest. So if you got some dual dual Zs, you can go get that. Putrefy, Trigon Predator. Yeah, pretty sweet. I really like these commander decks. I think if you can get them, as of now, the printing is still iffy, but I did hear from a distributor that um, printing is going to be kicking back up in the next month or so and we're going to get like a big another wave of these don't like quote me on that because you know i'm not um i'm not i don't have ins with anyone i just kind of hear things but uh yeah i think people will be able to get commander decks in a couple months if they want to get these commander decks and without having to pay like triple the price or whatever they are now whatever absurd amount i will note that i bought these on a pre-order and the person i bought them from honored the pre-order price so huge shout out to i think it's cataclysm collectibles on ebay fantastic folks 
they honored all of their pre-order pricing for the booster boxes, the commander decks, and the, um, what do you, what you call it, the collector box here. Yeah, they honored all of the pre-order prices, didn't cancel, um, good folks. Anyway, that was my video opening up all five of the Commander 2020 or the Ikoria Commander pre-con decks. It was a lot of fun. Um, I typically don't do this kind of stuff, but maybe I will. I don't think this will get very many views, but if you're still here, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you think of these decks, which I think are pretty good, pretty good value here. Um, but regardless of what you do, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more card game content. I'll see you later.